Dear Senators Wyden and Merkley and Representative Schrader, we are the four primary outreach coordinators for the National Teach-In on Global Warming Solutions based here in Portland, Oregon. For the past six months, we've spent every day trying to get the word out to as many institutions as we can across the country to raise awareness and to get people excited about the potential for real positive solutions to some of our most difficult problems. As individuals, as organizers, and as your constituents, we ask that you take a couple of minutes and listen to what the teaching is about and why we are involved. My name is Meryl Kunkel, and I am the West Coast Coordinator for the National Teach-In, as well as the Coordinator for the Oregon Climate Dialogues. For the past few months, I have been networking with hundreds of folks in Oregon and across the West Coast who are invested and committed to combating global warming within their own lives. But we need support from our policymakers. I am passionate about this issue because I grew up in rural Oregon, spending my summers building forts on the riverbank. If climate change legislation is not passed, global warming has the potential to drastically change the face of rural Oregon. My name is Sarah Sutter and I'm in charge of outreach for 22 states throughout the Midwest and the central part of the country. I think our culture has become detached from our environment or has at least encouraged separate thinking about the two and we've forgotten that we live in a fragile, delicate, breathing existence that is becoming increasingly heated and polluted. Species are dying and threats are looming. We need to re-envision our relationship with the planet, how and what we use and when we choose not to. We have a window of opportunity to develop a more ecologically friendly economy by employing our creativity, innovation and resourcefulness. My name is Madeline Kovacs and I'm the Outreach Coordinator for the Great Lakes States as well as the Administrative Assistant for our Co-Director Eben Goodstein. I think young people today need Congress's help. Our leaders must make the investments today in the technologies that we will need to re-engineer our country's infrastructure, harness clean sources of energy, and live sustainably. As a young person, I devote my time to organizing and educating people about this issue because I know that time is short. 2009 marks the last window of opportunity to hold warming to a manageable 3 to 4 degrees Fahrenheit. The 111th Congress and all Americans will have to make some tough choices, but with our parents' resources and skills, and with our energy and innovation, youth can change the country. My name is Lara Messersmith Glavin, and I'm the coordinator for the East Coast. I'm also the intern supervisor, and I developed some of the teach-in curricula. And I guess I'm involved because I'm tired of being overwhelmed. Sooner or later, you have to act. It's like we have two choices. Keep going the way we are and continue to create a whole lot of suffering for ourselves and others, or we can start taking responsibility for our actions and for the future. Climate change and energy policy are linked to so many other things, our food production, our safety, our engagement in military actions. And it's time that we realize that big business isn't going to fix this for us. I think the people have to take control of their own lives and both create and demand some major changes. And hopefully the PCAP is one place to start. The Presidential Climate Action Project is a set of recommendations put forth by an interdisciplinary panel of climate scientists and energy experts. President Obama's goals of 20% reductions in emissions by 2020 just isn't enough. Here's what we'd like you to support. We need a 40 to 50% reduction in carbon emissions below 1990 levels by 2020 and 80% by 2050. Anything less and we risk missing the window for reducing warming trends. Dedication to renewable energy technologies instead of mature energy resources like coal and nuclear power. No new coal plants, period. It's time to move on to other resources, ones with a future. Investment in cleaner technologies and in the research for renewable resources. We can transform our country into a leader again in green development. Reinvigorating our economy through an investment in green jobs. Together, we can transform our economic problems and our outdated industrial facilities into jointly positive solutions. 
we can retrain our workforce to perform the much needed tasks of rewiring, weatherizing, and retooling our energy grid and infrastructure base across the country. We can connect the work that needs to be done with those who need work. We hope you'll join us on February 5th and help start the movement that will carry us into a more responsible, cleaner, safer future. Thanks for your time. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks again. Sincerely, 